What happened? He just collapsed right in the middle of the meeting. I don't know what happened to him. Okay. Do you, was he acting normal before this happened? He was. He was in the middle of a sentence and then he just went down. Okay. Do you know any past medical history that he has? No, or nothing Everybody this has ever good. happened before. Okay. Right? Are you able to contact his family to find out if he's on any medications, I has can. any allergies? I'll call someone. Okay. That'd be very helpful. Thank you. Everybody's clear to not afraid to be breathing. Okay. Okay. I'll get the suction out. I'm hooking up the O2. Oxygen is on. Yeah, well, let me hyperextend the, his yeah, head a little bit better and yeah. get a better seal. How's okay. that? Does that feel better? That looks a lot better. Okay. You should probably put an OPA in too. All right. Okay. I've got the okay. bag there. I'll hold the seal while you get the airway out. Just tell me when I have to move. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Have your suction ready. Does he still have a pulse? Have a pulse earlier, double Let's check. check that again. So we have no history so far, no medications, and no allergy history. Correct. He does have a good pulse. We have ALS is in route. Mm-hmm. We'll just keep maintaining his airway until they arrive. Okay. Hey guys, what do we got? Hey. The patient was in a meeting and collapsed okay. for his worker. Okay. They assisted him to the floor. Mm -hmm. They did not see any signs of injury or gross bleeding. Okay. They did not know any past medical history, medications, or allergies. So they are going to contact the family to get that information for us. Understood. We have an oral airway in and we've been ventilating him. Okay. He does have a strong carotid pulse as well. Excellent. Seth, you want to get an IV? Got it. You guys keep doing what you're doing up there. And they assisted him to the floor. Okay. It's going to twist on that cat tax. All right, looks like we have a heart rate of 120, sinus tachycardia. SpO2 is 86%, and you said it was on 15 liters. SpO2 15 liters. An OPA and MPA in place. Correct. And his blood pressure is 160 over 84. He is a ton. It looks like he's going to be a good candidate for our size I would agree. If you want to handle the intubation, I can do your medications for you. Sounds good. We're all set here. We have an 18 gauge in the right AC. Excellent. Running strong. You guys keep ventilating with your BBM there? One sharp is secure. Okay. Alright, we're going to get our RSA checklist out. We're going to follow that. Alright, as well as that BBM, we want to be mind grabbing a nasal cannula and we will apply that pre at 15 liters per minute. You have one in your bag? Yes, we do. Right in the middle. Okay. I'm going to put the nasal cannula on a second oxygen source out of our airway bag. Very good. We also took out our suction as well. Excellent. We can place that under the right shoulder, have that ready in case we need it. 
Annual's running at 15 meters per minute. Very good. All right. We have our 4 lead EKG running. Yes. Our SPO2 is applied. Check. Section's ready. Setting up the end title CO2. I'll tell you what, we'll put that on in line with the BBM now. Excellent. It's ready. That's a good idea. We're almost ready on our medications. All right, let's go ahead and... Next on the checklist, Tyler. Until CO2 is reading at 36. Not bad. Okay. Uh, we have a working IV with 1,000 bag normal saline running. Blood pressure cuff is on the opposite arm. We have the OPA and NBA in place for OPA. Mm -hmm. Lunoscope is working. Lunoscope is checked and working. We have our gum bougie. Bougie is set. We have our ET tube with our 10 cc syringe attached. Remove the stylet. ET tube is set. Very good. In case of failure, we have our King Airway in place, super device. Very good. We also have our surgical airway device. King is set, surgical airway is set. Uh, we have our oral gastric tube with lubricant. Oral gastric tube with lubricant is set. Excellent. We have our 60 cc Tumi syringe for aspiration with that as well. 60 cc syringe is set. And we have our tube holder. We have our tube holder set. All right, I'm ready to sedate if you're ready to intubate. Or how would you like to do your intubation? Uh, we'll continue to let them pre oxygenate. If you want to go ahead and uh, sedate them, I'm all set. Excellent. We think it weighs about 100 kilograms, give or take. 100 kilograms is a good estimate. Is in. I'll take that. All right. We have everything we need. I think we're all set. If you're ready to do it, sure. All right. Go ahead and give one more bag. Okay. Can you give me some hand up, some hand up here. There for me. Got it. Hold that. Fantastic. I feel it going through. Perfect. I saw it pass through the cords. around the bougie. Okay. There you go. So we have good chest rise. We'll go ahead and also take for me. Start down the epigastric area. Or 
two polar ready? Two polar is ready. We have an improvement in vital signs, the normal sinus at 70. Let's get you to come up to 90%. Lung sounds are present, no gastric sounds. Looks like we have a good tube. Excellent, good. Right. Good waveform capnography. I'm going to go ahead and secure the tube. Successful intubation. As soon as that's set, I will continue with our RSI and give our post intubation pain control medication. Try to take this bag. All right, tube is secured. Post intubation, we're going to give fentanyl. Loading dose is 100 micrograms. It's going in right now. Fentanyl is in. I'm going to repeat that PRM five minute interval, 50 micrograms. If you guys are set, I think we can load the patient and transport. Agreed. Yeah.